Hi, this is Dr. Roger Murphy, your FibroDoctor.com, author of Treating and Beating, Fibromyalgia, and Chronic T Syndrome. Thank you for joining me for today's health tip. I want to share some information I hope will encourage you to keep going, to keep looking for the answer you need to feel good again. I've been in private practice for the last 26 years, and for the last 20 years, I've specialized in fibromyalgia. And over the last 20 years, I've really seen a real change in the whole, the whole idea about fibromyalgia, both from the standpoint of a, a doctor treating his patients and from the patients themselves. You know, early on, we thought that we would be able to find a drug or, or a group of drugs that we could manage fibromyalgia, and patients would be able to get on the right drug or the right cocktail of different prescription drugs, and that they would... Uh, be able to feel good again, and unfortunately, that's not been the case. And so, what we've seen is that every new drug du jour that's come along, whether that's Lyrica or Cymbalta or Savella, Neurontin, these medications that have come along, we've seen that they've not stood the test of time. And what we see now is a lot of doom and gloom in the fibromyalgia community because, unfortunately, there's many doctors who still don't believe in fibromyalgia, and those that do have pretty much given up on fibromyalgia. Now, I know that sounds pretty jaded, but that's really the fact. Uh, and it's not that they don't mean well. Your doctor is, he or she really does want to help, but what they've come to is a false conclusion is that once you get the diagnosis of fibromyalgia, you just have to learn to live with it. And they've come to this false conclusion because the only thing they know to do is to recommend more and more drugs for the ever-growing list of symptoms that you have with fibromyalgia. And what they have learned over the years is that drug therapy doesn't work, at least not long-term. Now, short-term, there's, there's some benefit to it, potentially. Uh, but as many of you know, because many of you have tried all the different medications, and you have found that many of those medications actually made you feel worse. It's not unusual when I start working with my patients that they're on half a dozen to a dozen drugs when I start doing my consults with them. And then over a period of time, using functional medicine, a more natural approach, I'm able to get my patients off those medications as they're doing better, and then eventually they are able to get off 99% of those medications using more natural protocols. But what has happened in the fibromyalgia community is doctors have learned over the years that it doesn't matter what prescription medications they give their patients, the patients continue to come back every six months or maybe maybe more often, and they're letting them know they're no better. And so the doctor becomes discouraged. He or she starts to theorize that maybe this patient is a hypochondriac. Maybe they're just depressed, or maybe they're just lazy. I mean, Nothing is further from the truth. You know that's not true. But they come to that conclusion because it can't be them. You know, a lot of doctors have big egos. Um, and, and my wife is quick to put me in my place if I, if I start to have a big ego. Uh, but a lot of doctors have big egos. And when their patients are not getting better, then they oftentimes will blame the patient. Um, what they've decided is is that there's really not a option. I mean, there's not an option that you're ever going to feel good again. And so they start to dismiss you when you come in. They just dread seeing you on their schedule. And I know because a lot of the doctor friends of mine, they'll tell me, they'll tell me, Roger, I, you know, why do you want to work with these patients? I mean, they're so complicated and they complain a lot and, you know, and they, they don't get better. And, and, you know, that's exactly why I want to work with them because, um, fortunately, I've been blessed to have been able to help thousands of, of fibromyalgia patients over the last two decades, and I've done it with natural methods. And really, it's the only way that works, the only way to feel good again, and more importantly, stay that way, is you got to get healthy. You can't drug your way out of fibromyalgia. And what we see now is if you get the diagnosis of fibromyalgia, if you go to Mayo Clinic, world-renowned Mayo Clinic, they'll tell you that you just have to learn to live with it. They'll put you in a class for two weeks and they'll teach you how to cope with fibromyalgia. Well, who wants to learn to live with chronic pain, fatigue, poor sleep, irritable bowel, restless leg syndrome? I mean, who wants to live with a life that beats you down like that? Nobody wants to live like that. And 
No one should live like that. Now, for many of you, this is probably the first time you've ever seen or, or heard that you actually have an option other than just drug therapy. Uh, for many of you, though, you have looked and you've tried natural things. Maybe you've tried changing your diet. You've lost weight. You've done acupuncture. You've done chiropractic. You've done homeopathy. You've taken supplements. You, whatever it is, and you've tried these different things, and they've not been helpful. And I understand. I understand that many of you are filled with doom and gloom, hopelessness. And I want to change that. I want to change that. I'm on a mission to change that because it doesn't have to be that way. I don't have all the answers. I certainly don't. I've been in practice, as I said, 26 years, specializing in fibromyalgia 20 years. I'm learning every day something new from my patients. They keep me on my toes. That's one of the reasons why I love what I do because you can't fake being a fibromyalgia doctor. You, you have to really be good at what you do because patients are so complicated. And there are other doctors besides me who are having success with fibromyalgia. I'm not the only one. Again, I've been blessed to have helped a lot of patients with fibromyalgia over the years, and I know for many of you, when you hear that, you become, you know, you become very skeptical, and, and you should. You don't know me. This is just a video of me sharing heart, you know, my heart to you. But what I would encourage you to do is to keep an open mind that there may be hope for you, and I would encourage you to go to my website, yourfibrodoctor.com, and look at all the free resources. There, there's free videos, there's a free webinar you can tune into. I do a free teleconference every Tuesday night where you can call in and get your questions answered. And, and there's, there's all sorts of free resources there. Maybe that will spur you to get a copy of my book, Treating and Beating Fibromyalgia and Chronic Fatigue Syndrome, and you'll find enough information in there to get you back on the right track and you'll feel hopeful again. For some of you, you might find that you're going to need more help. You need some coaching. And that may be, it may be the time that you need to set up a, uh, a phone consult with me. My practice is 95% phone consults. I work with patients all over the world at this point. But whatever it is, I want to spark you, whether we ever get a chance to meet or you ever uh, get a copy of my book, whatever it is, I want to spark you not to give up. Don't give up. Life is too short to learn to live with it. Many of you have compromised your life for years. You found that Fibromyalgia has beat you down so much that, you know, you rarely leave the house. Many of the patients that I work with, at least in the beginning, are bedridden. And it's, it's a sad, sad thing when I hear this, and I hear it all the time, is that many people have been led to believe erroneously from maybe well-meaning people on support groups, sites, or, or their doctor, that they just have to learn and live with it. So there's no, no, um, there, there, there's... There's no reason that that has to be that way. You don't have to give up. You just need to know that there's some other options. And when you take on this doom and gloom mentality, and, I mean, who wouldn't blame you? Because, again, you've heard for years that, um, you know, you just have to learn to live with it, and you've tried all the different prescription medications, and you feel worse instead of feel better, and you've, you've worked. I mean, you've tried, and you've tried, and you've tried, and you know better. So who wouldn't feel the doom and gloom? But please, I'm, I'm really encouraging you to, to not give up, not give up. There's a, a spouse that cares about you. There's a sibling that cares about you. There's a friend that cares about you. There's a coworker that cares about you. There's people that care about you and want you to keep going, to try to figure this thing out. I would love to help you any way I can. And, I, and again, I suggest that you look at all the free resources on my website, yourfibrodoctor.com, but please don't buy into the doom and gloom mentality that so many people are going to try to convince you that that's all there is to the rest of your life is to learn to live with this thing called fibromyalgia. I look forward to meeting, hopefully many of you, on a free teleconference on a Tuesday night teleconference, perhaps on a phone consult, and I look forward to seeing some of your questions. I see them coming in here um, right now, and I'll do my best to answer them, but uh, hopefully in, in the near, very near future. Thanks for joining me today. This is Dr. Roger Murphy, yourfibrodoctor.com, author of Treating and Beating Fibromyalgia and Chronic Fatigue Syndrome.